So did David Sinclair slightly mislead us in his book Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To? Hi and welcome back. My name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So Dr. McCullough interviewed David Sinclair and that interview was posted on YouTube on the 11th of September. During that interview, Dr. McCullough talks about David Sinclair's book Lifespan being on pre-release. And also in that book, we know that he mentions that TMG and methylation is a theory and he does not list TMG as being one of the supplements he takes. However, in the interview with Dr. McCullough, he talks about taking TMG for the reason of methylation. So there seems to be a slight disparity in the timeline. My only explanation could be, did he write the book and not take TMG? And then having written the book and it being sent off for publication, in that period between doing that and having the interview, he started to take TMG, I'm not too sure. I'm now gonna play you an excerpt. I'm gonna read you an excerpt from the book and then we're gonna look at the clip from the Dr. McCullough interview where he mentions TMG and how he takes it to combat the depletion of his methyl groups. This makes sense. The N in NR and NMN stands for nicotinamide, a version of vitamin B that the body methylates and excretes in urine when it is in excess, potentially depleting cells of methyls. But this remains a theory. In this clip, recorded prior to the release of his book, David Sinclair talks about methylation and taking trimethylglycine, TMG, to counteract its effects. And there's a link in the description below to the full interview with Dr. McCullough. Uh, well, so the reason that I take um, glycine, actually specifically trimethylglycine, is, is actually to, to counter what I think might be going on with an NAD booster. Um, I'm certainly not an expert in, in glycine other, other than that, but I, I can talk about um, the trimethylglycine component if you like. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, so this is a big question in, in my field. So just to take a step back, my, my field and a lot of what my book is about is being able to trick the body into being hungry and having exercise. And one of the molecules that does that is NAD. Uh, NAD uh, stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and we have it in our body. As we exercise, as we get hungry, it goes up. As we get older, it goes down. Uh, and it's needed for life. It's also needed for turning on these defensive enzymes that we work on called sirtuins. Now, to raise NAD levels, what we've done in my lab to mice for the last decade is we give them precursors to NAD. So we give them molecules like nicotinamide riboside or NR or nicotinamide mononucleotide, also known as NMN, not to be confused with m ms <laughs> which will have the opposite effect. And uh, so NMN is, is what I take each day. I take a, a gram of it. But the thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN is that it, it has this nicotinamide group on it. It hangs off the, the main part of the chemical. And it's the first bond to break. And so we see in animals and even in humans that the levels of nicotinamide go up quite rapidly after taking NMN or NR. And too, too high levels of nicotinamide are not good, um, in part because the nicotinamide gets excreted through the kidneys and it's done so that happens because it becomes methylated into methyl nicotinamide mm -hmm. and methyl nicotinamide being used for for years as a marker of all sorts of things in, including at least experimentally for parkinson's disease but the concern that's that's being talked about uh, in social media especially is is this drain of methyl nicotinamide a problem the, the methyl groups are are needed for the body. We need methyl for a whole range of things, including um, antioxidants. And uh, so as a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that uh, I continue to give my body a source of methyl groups. Now, I don't know if that's true. Uh, people ask me all the time. I take it as a precaution because I know that trimethylglycine is not going to hurt me. Glycine is good, as you mentioned, Joe. Um, and the other thing is trimethylglycine is also known as betaine, uh, which on human cells is very good for them, um, including protecting them against stress. So I don't, I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. And the upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. But the reason that I can't say for sure that it's ne necessary, actually, is that our bodies can make methyl groups. There's a whole pathway. In fact, I did a PhD on it when I was in Australia 30 years ago. 
Um, but so I do take it as a precaution, um, knowing that, that it's probably not doing anything um, except goodness for my boy. Right. Um, have you looked at methylcobalamin or methylfolate as a? I have. I have actually, and I think those are interesting too. I couldn't say which is better, in fact, because nobody has studied it. But those are those are options too. They're actually mm -hmm. I've seen um, companies selling those vitamins uh, with methyls on them, and those are vitamins that I think are are worth taking as well. Um, so those are options. I think um, you know, like all professors, we like to say we need more studies before we know for sure. Um, but with, in the absence of studies, I think those options are, are the best right now. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, if you've read his book, but you haven't seen that interview, you may well still think that David Sinclair doesn't take TMG because he doesn't list it in his book. And there's that paragraph that says that it's still all a theory. That said, I'm very thankful that David Sinclair does take the initiative and he does tell us what he's actually taking. And if you watched a previous video I did, you'll see that he's also telling us when he introduces new um, supplements to his stack. He's recently talked about quercetin and fisetin, or fisetin as he calls it. Um, so what about the dose of TMG? He didn't mention what the dose was. I've heard recommendations ranging between 0 0.5 to 1 as a ratio and 1 to 1 as a ratio. Uh, so if you're on one gram a day, that's anywhere between 500 milligrams and one gram a day. So I'm on um, one gram of 1.5 grams of NMN a day. I use the one to one ratio, so I'm taking 1.5 grams of TMG a day. So although slightly confusing, in the book he says he doesn't take it, and then in an interview that was recorded before the book was released, he says he does take it. Um, I suppose the old idiom, better late than never, stands, uh, stands here. Let me know if you do take TMG because you take NMN. And let me know if you're going to start taking TMG because you didn't in the, in the past because of what's in the book, but you might now reconsider that because of what you've seen in the interview. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.